Welcome to Exo Magic Trick number 708. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my Color Checks Hat link, and you can download the workbook, Exo Magic Trick 707 to 710. We've got a great one here. Um, we have a data set. Here's the names, and there's lots of repeats. Sue, Sue, Sue. Sue is the sales rep. And for any for every particular uh, transaction, there's product one, two, three. This whole this is a small example of what you could have. You could have like a huge uh, data set like this that spits this information out. Ah, but our goal is to calculate total commissions. So for Sue, we need to take product these four numbers and multiply them because here's Sue's commissions a different commission for each product. Not only that, but each sales rep has a totally different commission rate also. Our ultimate goal is to take all of these. Here's all of Sue's um, data. These are rows, so we have a row of numbers that we need to multiply times this. So we're going to do uh, two things. We're somehow going to have to extract all these rows of data, and then we're going to have to look up an entire row, meaning that row, and do multiply. All right, let's see how to do this. Um, we're going to use the sum product, equals sum product, and we're going to get. Um, we're going to have some trues and falses like we usually do, but we're actually going to multiply a whole uh, column, which is rows. You're going from row to the next row to the next row, times a table. Now, those are different dimensions, and some product cannot multiply different dimensions unless you do multiplying. So we can't do array, comma, array. So we're going to start off. We're going to get this uh, series of trues and falses, because we're interested in Joe to start off with. So I'm going to get this whole column here, and I'm going to have to hit F4. And I'm going to say when that's equal to this. Now let's just take a look at this. Close parentheses. If you take a look at this, we're going to see that the return, the resultant trues and falses when I hit F9 are um, in an array separated by semicolons. Semicolons in array syntax means row. So we have a column or different items in rows. Control Z. Now let's do our next. We're going to multiply because we want to multiply times this entire range right here. Now, again, some product wouldn't allow this by using commas, but you can use multiplying here. Now I need to hit F4 here. Let's just look at this F9 and see what's there. The array syntax is, oh yeah, there's that first record for Sue, but it's a comma, which means column. I, always, I memorize that by remembering comma starts with C, which is the same as column starts with C. And then I always from that I remember, oh, semicolons row. But notice one, two, three, four. There are four columns, and then there's a semicolon. So the way this control Z, the way this multiplying will work is it's row times row. Because there's only one item in this row, when it multiplies times a row, it'll multiply that single item times one, two, three, four, all four items. So if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, which, and these are only trues and falses, right? The act of multiplying will convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros. So if I hit F9, you can see 0, 0, 0, because that's not Joe, who's our first, our first record is the second record, which is semicolon, and then that starts the second one, 20, 54, 0, 60. And then semicolon means the next row. So there you go. Those are all the numbers. That's how we're going to extract all the numbers from this table for Joe. That's the first part of our formula, Control Z. The next part is, and remember this was number, column, number, column, number, column, and then semicolon. So we can multiply this whole thing times this. Remember, it's going to be row times row. Well, how in the world are we going to look up? And this is the lookup part of it. We need to look up Joe's name and then get that whole row. No problem. That's easy with the index function. Index has the capability specially built in to look up an entire row. All right, match. Where's the array? It's this. Remember, we need just one row out of this particular array. So I'm going to hit F4. 
that's the array, comma, and the row number. Well, row number we're going to get from match. We're going to say, hey, where is Joe in this? First. So I'm going to say match. And I'm going to scoot this over because we're going to just deal with this now. Match Joe, comma, within this. Right, so match all match does, F4, is to tell us the relative position. So Joe is 1, which is perfect. That's row 1 for us. Comma, we're looking up an exact match of word, and these aren't sorted. So we're going to do 0, close parentheses. Now, that's the row number, right? And you see if you hit F9, that's 1, control Z. But we're, the magic of index is comma, if you want all the columns, right? Because right now, the lookup index is doing a two-way lookup. Here's the first row. If we said column 2, it would return one value. But when you put a 0 in the columns, it means give me all the columns. We gave it the row number. 0 means now take all the columns in that particular row. Close parentheses. By the way, that works also. We're doing column. The, the 0 there gives you uh, all the rows or a particular column. All right. Close parentheses and Enter. And we can uh, double click and send it down. Now, in essence, what this did is this. And this is the nasty way. So, you know, I actually had to go through and get each one of these values right here, and then in this first sum right here, and multiply it times that rate. And then the same thing for the next one. I had to go get all of the product twos that match Sue. Imagine having to do this by hand like this. And then uh, multiply it by the next, the purple rate right there. So that's, that's a nasty, mistake-ridden way. Whereas uh, that, we did our first array to extract only the rows for the particular sales rep. And then we use index to look up the commissions, look up a whole row, and then multiplication symbols worked inside of some product when the dimensions weren't the same. And finally, that zero, ah, lovely little zero to tell us, please give us all the columns. All right, see you next trick.